Hey everybody and welcome to this yin yoga full body deep stretch class. I am Sarah Collins and welcome to my channel. So keeping it really, really simple today, we're getting to the whole of the body. We're going to stretch the front, we're going to stretch the back, we're going to stretch the hamstrings, the hips. We will have forward bends and back bends and at the end we will have a twist. So we're getting to everything at some point deep stretches and at the same time deep relaxation as always in the end. This is suitable for beginners this class and you can take part if you have all of the yoga props which is fantastic if you do but if you don't no worries we can make do as we move through with minimal props maybe just a couple of cushions off of the sofa. So go get into your comfy yoga clothes get your space ready and come and join me on the mat. So we are going to begin in child's pose today. If child's pose doesn't suit your body for any reason, please just lay onto your back, take your arms out to the sides and just take a relaxed, comfortable position for your body. We just want to take a few moments here to arrive within the practice. So coming into a kneeling position, walking the hands forwards, taking the head down towards the floor. If the head doesn't reach the floor, you can have fists, one or two, or hands under the head. Or you could use a block if you have one to support your head. Allow the arms to relax out in front of you, so they can be a little bend into the arms for now. And breathing in and out through the nose. Maybe allowing the eyes to close if you haven't already. Allowing the body to begin to soften and release that first immediate layer of tension that we may start to notice. Allow your body to just begin to give its weight over to the floor, softening around the shoulders and the upper arms. Softening the throat, tongue, jaw. Softening the muscles around the eyes, across the forehead. And just have another scan around here and just seek out where you might be holding. Maybe the hands are a little bit tense. Maybe the thighs or the hips or the belly. allowing your body to give its weight over to the floor just a little bit more each time you breathe out so each time that you breathe out you become a little bit more soft and relaxed You're also becoming aware of the feeling of your own body. Linger around long enough that that feeling of the body starts to become more and more apparent to you. 
almost becomes louder. And I will be guiding you to relax and release and to feel into the body many times throughout this class. So if there's anything in the mind still lingering that isn't to do with here and now on the mat, just allow yourself to release that subject or those thoughts. Let them fall away from you. Just let them go. And let yourself connect with your body once more. So you're shifting your attention away from the mind, becoming more interested, more curious about the body now. Your body and your experience that you're having right now just became the most important thing in your world. We'll take a few more breaths here. So, just coming up a little, I want you to walk your hands over to the right hand side so your torso now will lay more over towards or on top of your right leg and take your hand back out in front of you take your head down towards the floor you might not reach the floor with the head so you might want to be just slightly above the ground with the forehead but just walk your hands as far over to the right as you can get until you feel a stretch down the side of the body. Relax the back of the neck if the head isn't resting into the floor so the head can drop. And then walk your hands over to the other side, doing the same thing on the left. Breathing into that space behind you, expanding out into the rib cage on the right hand side, especially. Let your breath reach these areas that may be stagnant and stiff, that haven't moved and been reached in a little while. Bring your hands back to center and walk yourself back up to seated, sitting to the side, taking your legs around in front of you, enjoying that release from the legs after being in child's pose for so long. Maybe you want to just point and flex your toes a few times and just enjoy that moment. And we're going to come into a caterpillar pose now. So the legs come straight out in front of you. We will be in this posture for between three and five minutes and we're going to relax and be very passive within the posture, which is always the case with yin. Therefore, we need options sometimes to adjust the posture to suit our own body so that we can be there for that amount of time. One option here is to bend the knees, placing blocks underneath. You can have them flat or on their sides, and the more you bend your knees, the more gentle this becomes. You could also stack cushions, or you could use a bolster. But this is just an option. Sitting up nice and tall. Let your crown reach up towards the ceiling. Lean your body forwards with that long spine. And when you start to feel like your spine wants to round, let that happen. So let the spine round and let your head drop. Let your neck muscles relax. You can relax your arms up onto the legs or down either side, but just as long as you're not gripping, your arms aren't dead straight, we wanna be soft and relaxed. So 
to let there be a bend in the arms. Some people do like to tuck their hands underneath their calf muscles here. We still relax the upper arms and the shoulders, letting the head lower more and more as you feel able to relax your neck more and more. Breathing out, letting go. So each time we breathe out, there is an invitation to the body to release, relax just a little. Breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. Another option is to support the head. I'll use cushions this time, but you could use a bolster or blocks. And stacking props in front of you so that you can make a little ledge for your head to rest into. Now we all land at different heights, so different props are appropriate for different bodies. You may find that just, just a block, maybe even in between the legs, works just right for you. So whether you're using props or not, find a posture that feels like just the right amount of stretch. Not too little, not too much. Your body should feel safe, you should feel able to be in the pose. Take as much time as you need to find that version. Try out different options if you need to. And maybe closing the eyes. And drawing in. Yin isn't just about relaxing, letting go. It's also drawing energy in. So drawing in away from the outside world. Even in away from the room around you. Coming in and just being here with your body. Feeling that it's there, connecting with it. And letting everything else fall away for a moment. Letting your body become really important. And as you feel all of the different parts of your body, when you begin to feel into the muscles and tissues, Become aware of where you've been holding, where you've been tensing. And with each breath out, allow your body to let go a little bit more than the breath before. at the beginning it's very natural to wonder so if your mind has wondered just know that breathing out doesn't just help the body let go you can breathe out and let whatever thoughts do come in you can let them fall away again so that it doesn't matter how often your mind might start up you always have this option to drop down out of it again Breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, finding little ways, body and mind to let go. Let your body and the feeling of your body be your anchor, that point that you sit with, observe, come back to, whenever you wander away, you come back to the body, back to your anchor.
and aware of the feeling of stretch throughout the back of the body. Letting yourself expand out into the space behind you as you breathe. Sending your breath out in all directions. Belly expands, chest expands. Just breathing out into the sides of the ribs, the back of the ribs. And even into the lower back. The breath doesn't need to be forceful. It can be long, relaxing, smooth. You might want to slow it down a little bit. I'm taking a few more conscious breaths in and slowly slowly ease your way back up you may feel stiff you may feel fragile and that's normal so once you sit upright, just roll those shoulders back, really pulling those shoulder blades together just a few times. And then roll the shoulder blades, roll the shoulders forwards. Taking some deep breaths if that feels good to you. Good. Good stuff. Maybe point and flex the toes a few times. We just want to release the sensation that can build up. Maybe you'd rather a bigger movement, sitting back onto the hands and dropping the knees one way, looking in the other direction and just moving from side to side. Be here as you do this, so observe something. Feeling of your clothes moving against your skin or the floor beneath you feeling in your body that crops up as you move or just simply the feeling of movement itself observing your moment so that you stay present back to center and we're going to come into saddle pose coming up into a kneeling position now saddle pose can be very strong when we come into the depth of it. So I'm gonna talk you through different levels that you can come to so that everyone can give this a go. I will talk you through an alternative posture afterwards in case this doesn't suit your body for any reason, especially if any of you find pain in the knees when you kneel. So let's start with saddle. So the first thing that we could do is just come back onto hands. You can decide whether you want your fingertips away or inwards. Whatever feels most comfortable for me, that's a way. So we'll be a little bit active here, lifting the chest up and arching the spine. So you can see the arch here in the spine. We're not just neutral. Lift the chest up. You can even squeeze the shoulder blades together a little. And you can either keep your head just in this tucked in position, or you can let your head drop back. Lift your chest a little higher, arch your back a little more, and breathe a little deeper down into the belly. Now, if you wanted to come back, you can come back onto your forearms. Now, for some of you, that will feel very easy and you will come straight back with no worries. For some of you, you may want to introduce props. Maybe you come back onto blocks. For some of you, 
you will feel very comfortable coming all the way back. First of all, we stay on the forearms and then we can let the head drop to the floor. So it doesn't matter if the knees part, but if the knees start to lift, then maybe we've gone a little bit too far. So you wanna try and find your natural point. Have a little play around. We can introduce a bolster here if you have one, or a couple of stacked cushions to give support to lay back over. One option here is to do this one leg at a time. So you could take one leg out straight, sit down onto the floor and come back one leg at a time. So if there's one particular knee that troubles you, you can look after yourself in that way. The alternative posture here is Sphinx, elbows under shoulders, palms facing down, relaxing through the spine and taking the arms forwards if you want to make it more gentle. Okay, so lots of options given because this is a very challenging posture. So please don't force yourself into anything that's aggressive or sharp or painful. You should feel able to be where you are. You should feel able to relax, at least to some degree. I appreciate some options require some activation in the body. But other than the activation that's needed, you should be able to soften your jaw, your face, relax tension that doesn't need to be held in the shoulders, that kind of thing. There was a lot of navigation possibly into that posture a lot to listen to and take in. So normal that we would have wandered away and, and gone back off maybe into thinking. So once and only once you've found that safe feeling version of the posture for you, you can close the eyes once more and just once more release anything that we don't need to be thinking about. So any outside world stuff, we simply let it go. And then when there's a little bit of space that allows us to connect once more with the body, feel that the body is here. You can feel all of the different parts You can feel stretch and release and compression in the body. And at the same time, you can feel into muscles, into tissues, and just start to suss out where you might be gripping. Where you might be holding or rigid with your breath, begin to invite your body to release, to relax, just to whatever degree it feels ready to. So there's no pressure, just an invitation each time you breathe out to let go. your belly rise as you breathe in 
and fall as you breathe out. If this gets too strong for the knees or the lower back, just come into that alternative sphinx pose. Nothing more to do here other than let go. That might be physical effort that you don't need. It might be mental effort. It requires you to be here, to be aware of this moment. Be aware of your body. Be aware when the mind comes in at some point. Notice the thinking. So all of this requires awareness, a kind of gentle monitoring. you are in the alternative sphinx pose you do have the option to deepen now pressing into the palms and coming up into a deeper back bend and all of you have the option to leave your posture at any point Allow your breath to soothe your body. So allow your breath to have a, a slow, smooth, steady quality. Breathe down into the belly. So we're going to find our way out of this posture. You can lean into your elbows first and then your hands one at a time. And you need to come out very slowly. You may need to pause in certain moments just as your back slowly, slowly releases from that posture. Don't worry if you do feel fragile and you do feel like you have to move super slowly very normal if you're in sphinx or seal you just lower to the ground and from whatever position you're in I want you to take your feet to the side if you're kneeling take your legs around in front of you lay down onto your back and just hug your knees in towards your chest pull them in just fairly tight to begin with towards the chest and just feel the release through the lower back and then just maybe relaxing the hands just a little and rocking the knees from side to side that could be a really small slow rock from side to side or a bigger movement or you might prefer small circles so just intuitively feel into your lower back and move Use your instincts, move in a way that feels good. Often a slower movement really allows you to tune into what feels good. So 
releasing the feet back down to the floor. Taking your knees to the side, coming up to seated. We're going to move into a butterfly pose now. First of all, a seated and then a reclined version. So we're gonna stretch through the insides of the hips and the legs. So taking your legs out in front of you, take your feet in towards you and your knees out to the sides. Soles of the foot, feet can meet together. Now, if this is too strong for hips or knees, blocks or cushions underneath the thighs work beautifully. So sitting up nice and tall, leaning forwards and then releasing down, rounding the spine, softening the neck, dropping the head. Relax through the thighs and hips. If you need support for your head here, rest your elbows into your lower legs and rest your head into your hands. And if you have props, you could use a block or you could stack a cushion and a block on top of each other or a bolster and a block or just a bolster on its own. So any combination of props that gives you the right height. So allow your arms to be in a position that's relaxed. And there is a little bit of a gap between the sitting bones and the heels. The heels aren't all the way in. So very roughly, you want your forehead relaxed or falling into a space just above where the arches of your feet are. Close the eyes. Where could you soften a little more now? Is it the neck, the throat, the shoulders, the palms and fingers? Maybe the hips, the thighs or the belly. To really do scan here, slowly, methodically scan through. Have a little feel into each and every area of your body. And you're just spending your time here, connecting with your body getting to know it, getting to know what's there, how it's feeling, where it's been gripping. And with each breath out, you find yourself letting go just a little bit more than the breath before. Whenever you wander away, your body is your anchor to come back to, to feel into, to observe, to be with. just continuing to kind of in a very relaxed way have a relaxed monitoring so you're aware when you do go off into thinking at some point you catch yourself and you're aware of the feeling of your body you're aware if you start to tense when you don't need to be
going to just slightly alter what we're doing so that we can have a stretch and an opening through the shoulders. So slowly raising up, staying exactly as you are in the lower body, but just relaxing back for a moment. So you can draw your heels closer in now and that might change the feeling of stretch through the insides of the legs. But I want you to take your arms either out into cactus arms or straight up above. You can let them bend, you can let them fall out to the side a little bit. Somewhere where you can relax but open the chest. You can even tuck your hands around the back of your head and let your elbows fall out to the side. One option here is to, as I have done, place a thin cushion or a, a folded blanket just underneath the shoulder blades, so somewhere around the upper back so that the head still sinks back to the floor. It just helps to release the shoulders and the chest a little more. If this becomes too strong for your hips or knees, again, placing cushions underneath the thighs. Closing the eyes, letting the breath soothe the body. You can let your belly rise as you breathe in and fall as you breathe out so that you are breathing down into your belly. Allowing your breath to be just a little bit longer, nice and smooth. And taking deeper breaths whenever you need them. point it gets too much for the shoulders just take the hands to the belly or to the floor
few more breaths, few conscious, aware breaths. And then helping those knees back into centre. If you're using a cushion or a blanket, you can pop that to the side. Just hug up into a ball for a moment. And then laying back, ready for thread the needle pose. So the feet rest into the floor, the right foot comes up onto the left knee. And we can just put the foot, we can stay in this position if you get stretch here. You could place your foot up onto a block or a bolster. But if you want to come deeper, you reach up and take hold around the back of the knee. So if you want to get a little deeper, reach up and take hold around the knee itself. So remember guys that you can alter your posture part way through. Sometimes the body starts to open up part way through and that's when you go in deeper. And we're not looking to smash up against our maximum edge. We want to back off away from that a little bit. Still feeling stretch, but nothing too sharp or severe. You can have a cushion under the back of your head here. Try to relax your shoulders back towards the earth as much as they can. Don't over grip with the hands. Could you slightly soften that grip? Keep the face and the jaw and the throat soft. Breathing down into the belly. Become aware of the feeling of your breath. Feel it rise, feel it fall. Begin to observe each breath as it's happening. So as you're breathing in, all that you're aware of in that moment is the feeling of breathing in. As you breathe out, all that you are aware of is the feeling of breathing out. One breath at a time, be with it completely. And the yin yoga is a practice of softening, relaxing as much as we can. So each time you feel that breath leave, that invitation to let go is still there, maybe physically, maybe mentally. So one conscious breath at a time. Let everything else fall away. Softening as you breathe.
coming towards our last few breaths on this side. Placing your foot back down to the floor, releasing both legs. Just rock the knees from side to side a few times. And taking the left foot up onto the right knee. This side could feel different, so you may need a different depth, a different version. So you could keep your foot on the floor, take your foot up onto a block or a bolster, take hold around the back of the thigh, or take hold around the knee. Relax your shoulders back into the earth, as far back as they'll go. You can support under the head or neck with a cushion. Close your eyes. Let everything else that seems like it's important, let it fall away. The only thing that matters right here, right now, is you, your body, your breath, this moment. Let yourself be that important for a little while. So anything else that the mind comes up with, just be willing to let it fall away again. There's always another breath out coming that allows you to just let a thought fall away from you. And this practice is really all about you taking time out to give yourself mental rest and to give yourself your own undivided attention so be here now spend some time with your breath with your body mentally resting not needing to think or do with your mind but just able to monitor and observe and be present with yourself Just letting yourself really take in this moment like nothing else matters. Where could you soften? What could you notice? in the body that you haven't already noticed? Or what could you notice just about this moment that you haven't already noticed? What's going on in the here and now? Is there thinking that you haven't noticed? Is there tension that you haven't noticed? Is there a sensation that you haven't noticed? or an experience that you're having that you haven't noticed. is my reminder to be with your breath, be with your body, one breath at a time.
I'll take a few more breaths here. Taking the feet down to the floor. And we will come straight into our recline twist. So if the feet are, the knees are going to go to the right hand side first of all. So you might want to shuffle over to the left hand side of your mat. Letting your arms come out to the sides, knees in towards the center and then knees down to the right hand side. Move slowly if that's too much for your body, if too much for the spine, just place a block, a cushion underneath the knees, let the feet rest into the floor and just take the edge off. You can also place a cushion or block in between the knees and that's more for around this top hip and lower back area. So you can take the edge off of anything that's too strong. So we're going to look over in the opposite direction. So you might just lean into your elbows, draw your left shoulder down and look over that left shoulder. You can come a little deeper. So stay here if this feels just right. If there's not much cooking, you can take the top leg up over the top and tuck it under the bottom leg. You can relax your right palm up onto your knee or thigh, but don't push your grip. Try to soften your thighs. Soften the hips. Relax through the spine. And soften the shoulders. Breathing in and out through the nose, a soothing, even breath in and out through the nose, down into the belly. Let everything else, every other chore, every other responsibility fall away and just give yourself this time and space to breathe, to be here and to find little ways to let go physically, mentally. Just letting the bits that no longer serve you, the tension, the mental effort, just let it fall away. If that mind wandered, just bringing yourself back, dropping what came in, releasing the mental effort, turning to this space, to this moment, to just take it in, to observe. No need to label or analyze anything that you observe, just without any kind of mental addition. We just take the moment in. 
and just receive the information. Take a few more conscious breaths here. Remember to send your breath out into the areas of the body that feel stiff. Breathe out in all directions, expanding the chest. And taking the legs back to their original position if you took twisted roots. And then you can lower the knees down, let the feet meet with the floor. And just take the knees back around to center, head back to center. Shuffling over to the right hand side of your mat. Taking your arms out to the side, the knees will come down to the left. And the head will come over to the right. You may take twisted roots, you may not. So you could be different on each side of your body. If you took twisted roots on one side, do try to do it on the other side. If it causes any pain though, just one leg on top of the other in that original position. Remember you can cushion or support under the knees or in between. And if any of you find that twisting your head doesn't feel right for your neck, just bring your head back to centre. Try to relax your shoulders back into the earth. Soften through thighs and hips and spine. Close the eyes. Arrive with your body. Arrive with your breath. And a good way to be able to stay present is to just ask yourself, what is here to notice that I haven't already noticed? Maybe it's the feeling of the floor beneath you, or the clothes against the skin. Get curious what sensations, no matter how subtle, have you missed? Have you not checked in with? you wanted to deepen into twisted roots at a later date, remember you can. to invite the softness in even if you feel relaxed even if you feel soft soften a little bit more take it a little bit deeper remembering that the more we let go the more effectively we stretch deep into the deep connective tissues and the more effectively we calm the nervous system
I'm going to take a few more breaths here, just sending your breath to those areas that feel a little bit stuck and stagnant. So arm twisting the legs if you took that option, rolling back to center. Taking the knees in towards the chest and rocking the knees from side to side, massaging the lower back into the floor. And we're going to come into our closing Shavasana now, so you can make your body comfortable. So maybe a cushion or bolster under the backs of the knees. A cushion under the back of the head is nice. A blanket over the body or an eye pillow as well. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears, reach your fingertips away from you and let your arms relax into the ground. Relax the thighs, relax the whole body, closing the eyes. Take your awareness down to your toes. I'm gonna scan through the body with you, inviting you to soften a little more. So feeling into the toes, softening the toes, and then moving up along the top of the feet, moving along the lower feet, the arches, allowing the muscles in the feet there to let go. Moving up around the heels, up into the ankles, allowing the little muscles in and around the ankles to let go fully. Your body may already be very relaxed. We're just inviting things to soften a little deeper if it's there. Softening calves, shins, and relaxing the knees. Softening thighs, front and back. Softening the muscles in and around the hips. Softening the belly. Even allowing the organs in the stomach to release and relax. Relaxing the chest, taking a deep breath in through the nose to the very top, holding it in and out through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in, holding at the top and out. Relax the chest a little more, breathing normally through the nose. Relax the chest, relax the lungs. Even relax the heart in the chest. Allow the shoulders to sink back into the earth. Softening the shoulders and the upper arms. Soften the lower arms, the wrists, the palms and the fingers. Allow the front and the back of the neck to let go. Allow the muscles in the throat to relax. Soften the jaw. Tongue. The lips. The cheeks.
soften around the eyes and across the forehead. And just be still, be soft. Take a few moments of silence and I will let you know when it's time to move again. now to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth have a little wriggle of fingers and toes and just gently slowly start to wake the body we take the hands together arms up above stretch from head to toe Draw the knees in, come down to the side, rest your head into your arm. And keeping your gaze low or your eyes closed if you wish, pressing into the palm, coming up to seated, sitting tall. Resting the hands down into the knees or the thighs. Soften your shoulders, your face. And just watch your breath for a few more breaths. your palms together at heart center and lower your head to your fingertips. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you lovely people for 
choosing this video i hope you enjoyed that practice if you did hit the like button that helps me to grow the channel and reach more people i post weekly classes if you're new to this channel hit subscribe uh, <laughs> i post weekly classes so if you are new you can hit the subscribe button and that way you will know when my weekly classes go live I have a 21 day yin yoga challenge available to you for free on my website, sarahjc.com. So it's S-A-R-A-H-J-C.com. If you put your email in, in the box on my website, you will get 21 emails over 21 days with a yin yoga class each day. So if you want to take part in that, hop over to my website. Thank you again, guys. I hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening and I will see you again soon.